probably gonna put this part at the beginning of the video, but um, I have a second YouTube channel, and it is Germwake. So it's youtubecom slash at Um I believe I'll be able to put the um, take the at part out. Not sure, but um, <clears throat> I forget like what subscriber count or if that's only when you reach monetization. But um. Yeah, I'm working my way, to, way up to getting monetized on that channel. Um, but yeah, I've been waiting to make some content on that channel because every ammo store that I've seen is out of ammo. And online, I can't find any ammo for as good of a price as I get it at Bass Pro Shop. So um, yeah, hopefully I'm able to uh, find some ammo. Because without ammo can't make any content because I can't shoot it so um yeah I'll get back to you guys in the next clip I'm not sure where this is gonna go like what vlog or whatever that this is gonna go to but um right now we are about to change in some so all right so here's the backstory on this thing so this little coin pouch I went to the gas station back when I went to um, Maryland. Oh, hold on a second. My bad. So I found this little coin pouch back when I went to uh, H2OI in Maryland when we had the Skyline. I'll probably see if I can find some clips to put into this video or whatever. But um, yeah, so had a couple coins in it. Um, I used it for like parking and different little things like that. And then um, what... I started to do um, was put all the coins from cards that I've bought into it and now it's over full like for example the Mercedes it had this whole thing filled up with coins in here and here that you still see these coins here because it can't fit in the coin pouch but um yeah so I took like sometimes like when I need to go get like air at the gap at the uh, pump or vacuum out the car or something um, I'll keep some coins, so I will keep like two, three dollars in quarters just in case things like that happen. But yeah, like I always just end up finding cars that always have like five, ten dollars of coins in it. So lucky me. But um, yeah, we're about to go change this in. It's not gonna be much, probably like twenty bucks or whatever. But yeah, this coin I'm starting over, and I can't close this anymore. So yeah. So just guess how much this is gonna be. I have no idea. I'm guessing like maybe 20 bucks or something. But um, yeah. It's just funny how much coins you find in when you buy a lot of cars. So yeah. $16.95, so I was close correction 1994 which is funny six cents off so I really go my like mental math or whatever is on point that's crazy so now we are going to the credit union to pay something off and then um, yeah so I'll also include that in this video so I have pretty decent credit granted I started off in a terrible way and I have to fix a bit well not necessarily fix a bit of it but pay down on a lot of things as I did things the wrong way but you know it's nothing I can't manage but um yeah so what I have been doing this year is building or forming relationships with financial institution institutions so for citizens if you make at least five thousand dollars a month um, you can upgrade to a quest account which gives you a whole bunch of different kind of perks and with those perks you get like um, a lot of free services so with those free services I use that to expedite the payments of a loan that I had and I'm about to pay the loan off so I'm like two and a half years early paying off the loan um, so with that I not only formed a relationship with um, with uh, 
Citizens Bank. I formed a relationship with my local credit union. So when it comes time to like buy a house or get a business loan or anything like that, I will have the relationship set because they see one, um, I'll have the Citizens Quest account. So that means that I at least make $5,000 a month. And I have for, I forget how many months you need to do that, but I think it may be six months or a year or something like that. So once you do that, they'll see, okay, so he makes at least six months. I mean, he makes at least 5,000 a month and um, it's been consistent. Then also um, it's like, so he's did that, he's had a loan with us and he's never missed a payment, never had a late payment, never anything like that. So they're automatically gonna offer me better rates or their better rates. So when you do things like that, that is forming relationships with institutions. Once it comes time to do things, like I said, um, business loans and whatnot, or buy a home, they're gonna be like, all right. So um, especially for people who are like myself, I have been an entrepreneur for the most part of my life but the wrong way but um i at least have like or had money coming in consistently and i've been forming relationships with different financial institutions so i am looking to purchase a home next year um so if i keep doing what i'm doing by rapidly paying things down so um let's say for example you have uh six credit cards um so you pay double the minimum on one until it's paid off that means you have the two minimum of that card and then you put you keep that same amount of payment and you put that onto the second card so that time you're going to be paying double the minimum of the old card plus the minimum of the other of the next card that's in line so then once you pay that off you will take all that money and add that on top of the minimum payment for the next card then you pay that off and then you keep doing that until everything is paid off and that's pretty much what i'm doing so i paid off a couple things and now i'm just going to be like buckling down and killing every single thing so by the time i'm ready to buy a house which should be in about uh six to eight months um i'll have a crazy payment history I've never missed the payment since I've started credit. Um, I've never had a late payment, um, nothing like that. So they're just gonna see a lot of consistency, then a rapid pay down. They're gonna see like, if it comes to it, regardless, I'm able to maintain my payments and that'll be that. So um, yeah, it's just really good practice to do things like that because um, when you do, they're going to be happy with the relationship that you've been forming with the financial institution. Boom. So as you guys can see, current balance is zero. So that account is paid off in full. And yeah, so I was, I was saying, cause I was blocking somebody from getting in their car. Um, when you do things like that and you form a relationship with your financial institution, um, they could even be situations where um, they'll reach out to you like, oh, uh, we see you finished paying off your loan early or we finished, saw you finished paying off your account early. Would you like a, uh, um, a rate increase or would you like another loan we can offer you more attractive rates this that and the third and um once you keep doing that if you manage the money properly which i did this time i managed the money properly but i didn't spend the money properly in terms of paying it back because i didn't actually know how credit worked um i was just like all right but yeah i was just like um now I know how things work and how things should be and I'm going to do it right now and I've been doing very well so um you know kind of proud of myself granted things are not going too great but at least on that front I'm not doing all that bad so um yeah you guys will be seeing what I'm working on um in terms of like the next cars and everything like that and the next purchases and career stuff and all that because right now I don't have anything to record car wise because um what do you call it the cars at the shop and it's getting the other engine put in so hopefully that'll be back like 
Uh, I don't think it's going to be done this weekend, but maybe sometime next week or next weekend, and then we'll be making content with that. And also, people, do not bring your firearms into financial institutions unless you're like myself, who is an employee, but you only can do that on shift. So yeah, put your keep your firearms outside of financial institutions or else you'll get your ass locked the fuck up. But yeah, um, I don't know what I'm going to be recording next, so I guess you guys will see it. Um, yeah.